Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I would like to show you another brand new feature that Facebook has just rolled out on the Facebook business pages. So this morning, it is the end of April 2023. I log on to my Facebook business page and have a look at what I noticed on the left hand side, a direct access to the ads manager. Previously, it was a little bit of a nightmare to try to find the ads manager to go into what Catherine and I like to call the back end of your Facebook business page. So if you don't know what the ads manager is, I am going to show you. However, I'm going to show you what first you see when you click on the ads manager, because this is what is actually brand new on your Facebook or your meta business page. Let's go ahead and click the ads manager. Now, just before I click it, I want to say that an ads manager is another way to create a Facebook ad, to edit your existing ads, or to create something that's known as a dark ad. Now, a dark ad is an ad that no one can see on your Facebook business page, but the ad is created in the back end and it goes directly into the news feeds of the people that you target on Facebook. Facebook. Now, why would you use the ads manager when you can quickly scroll down your page and simply click on boost a post or boost uh, again, in this case, because I've already got an ad running, right? You just boost a post. It's a quick and easy way to run an ad on Facebook just by clicking boost a post. Now, I want to show you why it's a little more advantageous to go into the back end of Facebook and create your Facebook ads. So let's just go back to where we were on our Facebook business page and let's have a look of what is in the new ads manager. So let's go ahead and click ads manager. So here we go. This is the brand new look of the Facebook ads manager. Now it says, good morning, Heather. And then it shows me a number of my ads that are active right now on Facebook. But look down here, it says request a call from a meta marketing pro. And Catherine and I have been, uh, going through calls with Facebook for years now, because as business managers of many business pages, Facebook wants to make sure that our skills are sharp enough to be running the best ads on Facebook. So yes, if you call and request a call from Facebook, then you too can learn to sharpen your ads. However, from both Catherine and I, we will tell you that Facebook's mission is for you to spend money and not low cost like the ads that we run. We're talking, they want you to spend $100, $200. And that's a lot of money to spend on Facebook. So when and if you do request a call with one of the Facebook professionals to help you with your ads, remember their only goal is to get you to spend more money on Facebook. So now let's have a look at what else it tells us over here. Well, it says review and publish. It looks like there's nine ads that I did not turn into ads, but I had attempted to start ads. I personally am going to delete all of those. So that message will never be there again. I do not need to see that. I did not create those ads. And if I want to, they're really too old now for me to use. Down here, it tells me that I set up an actual spending limit on Facebook, which you can do as well. This way you could go into billing and you could change the amount to specify you never want to spend more than X amount of dollars in 30 days. And in my case, I never want to go over $500 a month, which really my budget is closer to $300 a month. And then it tells you how much you've spent in the last seven days and so on and so forth. So when you click now on any of these, remember we clicked on these before um, directly from our page and they gave us basically the same information, but just 
this is a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust, so to speak. It lets us know how our ad is doing as far as clicks, because this is a video ad. I have a learn more button. I want people to click the learn more button and I can see for the $18, they have clicked it 68 times, which means the cost per click is about 0.27 cents. And that's a really inexpensive ad to be running. So I'm quite happy with that. I then can scroll down the page and I can look at the age and the gender or the demographics of the people that are on my page. And I like that it's a little bit older because this property is close to a million dollars. And that is quite satisfactory to me. I can click down the drop and I can switch it to men or women. And then I can go into results and I can have a look at how each one of these is performing. I can then click further down to the next box that talks a little bit about basically the same thing that this last page told me. This is my click-through rate, which is 3.74%. And once again, it tells me a little bit more about my demographics. If I click the last box at the bottom, this one, if I scroll down, shows me more of how my ad is performing. And something that a lot of people don't know is they only think about Facebook as Facebook and Instagram. But look at here, it tells me my ad is in 19 different placements. And for me, it's in all these food feeds. We've got the Facebook feed. We've got the Instagram feed, uh, profile feed on Instagram, and you can just see on my marketplace, uh, video feeds, uh, I'm on Instagram Explore, we've got stories, we've got reels, and you can just keep going down. I even love the fact that we even see here that we're on Facebook instant articles and 19 different placements for one ad at a cost of 0.27 cents per click. That is amazing. I remember in the old days, we used to spend like $400 for an ad to run for one week on the in the newspaper so these are really inexpensive ads i'm very pleased to see this it even gives me my video performance on how well a video is doing and we do know that videos perform the best when you first put them up so it might be a good idea to run your video ads for a few weeks up to 30 days and then change out your video now if i want to take this ad and i want to change it for any specific reason let's say that um, i want to change my um, target parameters around my audience details i'm going to go ahead and click this x which is up here in the top left hand corner and now it takes me right here to the ad itself in the ads manager i'm not going to talk about all the other items that are appearing here what i really want to talk about is the simplicity of having a look at how your ad is performing across what facebook has detailed for you so there's your 68 clicks your reach is 1,700 plus news feeds, but the impressions, look at that, 3,639, that is fantastic. And over and above that, we also have something here called your ranking. And this is your relevance score, it was called in the old days, and you can still see it says add relevance. And it runs a diagnostic against all the other ads that are running on Facebook that you're competing with. And mine says that it's an average ad right now. But my engagement ranking is above the other ads. It is above average. And then my conversion ranking, which is something that I really want to pay attention to, because that is the consumer taking a step, an action. They're touching the keyboard to get more information, is also above average. Now, I want you to look at one more unique item here and that is the frequency and Catherine and I always have said that when your frequency hits three you need to stop the ad because at that point you're going into the consumer's newsfeed 
too many times and you could become aggravating to them and they could hide all your ads. So frequency is another really, really important metric that we like to watch. So those are basically the breakdowns of everything that I wanted to show with you today on what was new on Facebook. However, I do want to show you how you can change up your ad if you wanted to change the targeting parameters. Let's say it wasn't performing as well as you wanted it to. You'll notice where it says views, views, views on the left hand side that there's no other boxes. You wouldn't know where to click. Watch what happens when I move my cursor around. Look at that. All of a sudden, it says view your charts, which have even more demographics for you to look at. You can even look at the placement. How many times is your ad going on a, a laptop computer opposed to a smartphone? I love that demographic as well. But I'm gonna keep it simple and talk strictly about how do you edit your ad? Well, obviously, we're gonna click on edit. It then opens up to the very, as you see here, last page of your ad before you would actually hit publish. If we want to change a couple of parameters on this ad, we would start by going to the middle tab and click on it. It is in here that you can change and extend your ad. Say you wanted it to run till the end of April or early May, you would change it right here by clicking on these items. And down here where it says locations if you want to change the location change up the locations maybe you have hit a frequency of three times in the newsfeed and you want the same ad to be running but you change different locations now you move your ad into different areas of the province or the country so to speak you do that right here but we also can change the detailed targeting and sometimes we get too specific on our targeting or we're not specific enough and it is in here that you change your detailed targeting and this is all you have to do to change your ad. I want to point out right here if you change your end date you also need to go to the very first tab up here and you need to scroll down to where it says campaign budget and you need to change your budget because if you're running your ad for longer and you're only spending X amount of dollars, it's not enough money to extend your ad. So you have to up your ad amount here. I want you to notice that Catherine and I always pick lifetime budget and not a daily budget because we never want to spend more money than we thought we were going to. So those are basically the new things that I want to point out on Facebook. The ads manager itself is not new, but the look when you first get to the ads manager, that is what is brand new on your Facebook business page. And I think it's quite um, interesting to see this. I really like the work that Facebook is doing. It's been very frustrating for a lot of our clients, but um, this is kind of fun to see the overview. I'm very curious uh, that a lot of people would not know how to get into the ads manager because it does say ads manager, but it does not say how to get there when you get to this page until you click on an ad that you have running and then you click the X in the top left-hand corner. Does it take you into the back end of the ads manager? So still a little bit confusing but that's what Catherine and I are here for to help you along your way. I hope this video is of value to you and remember everyone let's keep it simple.